Sadhguru, you mentioned about the fact that uh, I mean, a true devotee is the one who is willing to like give uh, himself up and his agendas. How does one work with this philosophy in, let's say, any work in a in this in a corporate world or you in, cannot in this business? You just cannot because you have your own agendas. So don't waste your time and devotion. You must explore other ways. Devotion means taking your emotion to its highest pitch. Yes? Isn't it so? You have various kinds of emotions. Devotion is held as the highest form of emotion because it's least entangling, it's liberating. So taking your emotion to its highest pitch, devotees are insane people, they are not reasonable people as far as the world is concerned. They are very beautiful people within themselves. But as far as the society is concerned, they are usually insane people. Your Mirabais, I don't know if you have heard of the South Indian devotees, Akka Mahadevis, all these people are very insane people. You can't live with them. After they are gone, you can worship them. When they are there, Nobody could understand what the hell is happening with these people. I know Meera is so worshipped in the northern part of the country. There is a wonderful book called Kakold, <laughs> written by Kiran Nagarkar. This is life perspective of Meera Bai's husband. Let's say you have a wife who believes she is Krishna's wife, not yours. All the time she is going into such states that it's like Krishna is with him, with her, she is dancing with him, she is loving him, she is kissing him, she is everything, okay? She is so deeply involved. Now you are the husband. Are you going to appreciate, appreciate her devotion or go insane with your own problems? <laughs> Isn't it? So this book is the husband's perspective of Meera's life. How he experienced Meera. Because devotees are like that. They don't belong to the logical dimension of life. They are of a different… this thing. Devotion is one of the quickest ways to attain, but you won't fit into normal, social and other situations. It's not possible. If you want to fit into normal situations, your family and social situations and still pursue spirituality, I am not saying devotion is completely absent in you, there is a part of you. Your emotions are there, so naturally certain amount of devotion happens here and there. But you can't choose it as a path because you still want life to happen the way you want it. When you want life to happen the way you want it, you should just learn to use your body and mind the way you want it. Then only things will happen the way you want it, isn't it? You can also attain through your intelligence. You can also attain through your physical action. You can also attain by transforming your inner energies. But you are not just any one of them, you are a combination. So we are choosing a combination of these things so that without disturbing external realities, you can still evolve. If you want to preserve the external realities and still evolve, then naturally there are compromises, you go slowly. You are not bothered what happens to your corporate world or to your husband or wife or child or anything. You just want to grow. Then it's very quick. You want to preserve this also, but you want something else to happen. That is why we are going slowly. With different people we do different things. There are some people who are not concerned about all those things. With them we work in a different way. Now you are people 
who want to preserve the external situation but still you want an internal possibility. So we are going slowly, a combination of all these things, not putting anything to a high pitch, everything trying to raise to the next level of experience, not to the ultimate. We are just seeing how to push it to the next level of experience. Devotion and corporation, corporate world will not go. Devotion and family life will not go. Devotion and anything will not go. Devotion means everything else has to dissolve. That's why I'm saying, don't talk devotion, it's just deception. Some moments when your experience raises to a certain pitch, a moment of devotion may happen to you. Just wait for that moment, it's very wonderful. But don't try to pursue devotion as your policy because there is a very deep deception in it.